Hello, my name is Fumi Ayabami. I'm an assistant teaching professor in the biomedical engineering department here at WPI, and I'm presenting the results of our virtual internship in biomedical engineering summer program, or VIBE for short, which took place during the summer of 2021. I'm presenting this video on behalf of myself, Professor Solomon Mensa, and Professor Chris Billiard, as we all serve as co-directors of the VIBE program. Before I get started, I would first like to thank the Morgan Teaching and Learning Center which funded the program through the Sandbox Grant this summer. The motivation for VIBE was due to increased student stress regarding their academic progress and career plans due to the pandemic. As we all know, many internships were not offered over the last year and a half, and students are understandably worried about their future. In addition, knowing how the pandemic has disproportionately affected students from minoritized populations, we recognize that this concern was likely more severe for minoritized students. Therefore, we decided to create a virtual internship program, which would aim to address concerns about future career plans for biomedical engineering students specifically, and especially students from underrepresented and minoritized populations. Our idea came to fruition with the VIBE program, which was partially modeled after a virtual internship program at Case Western. This was a free unpaid virtual eight week program with a three to five hour weekly commitment to allow students to engage in other paid jobs over the summer. Our vision was that it would engage students in biomedical engineering design projects, ultimately culminating in a video pitch competition. Our team consisted of myself, Professor Mensa, and Professor Billier in the biomedical engineering department. Additionally, we had two wonderful students on the team, Athenia Jones, a PhD student in the biomedical engineering department, and Dana Malloy, a senior undergraduate student in the biomedical engineering department. In terms of the participants, uh, we had 374 students apply and 321 were accepted based on being a BME major and providing all the required, required documents. These students were from all over the world, uh, including 54 different universities and colleges, 12 different countries, and 63% self-identified as being a woman or non-binary, 26% uh, self-identified as being an underrepresented minority student, and 47% self-identified as being a first-generation college student. In terms of logistics, there were three sessions per week. The professional development sessions were in collaboration with SPUDS, or the WPI Summer Professional Development Series for undergrads, and included workshops on asset mapping, research ethics, broader impacts, and communicating impact, and much more. The coffee and conversations consisted of panels of professors who would have informal conversations with students about their research field, career path, or being a minority in STEM. The design seminars were short lectures in which students learned the biomedical engineering design process as they worked on their projects, which I'll explain in the next slide. Students had to attend these sessions live or watch the recording, which we tracked in order to receive credit. They could miss a maximum of three sessions and still receive the certificate of completion for the program. So in addition to the three sessions a week that I mentioned in the previous slide, students were broken up into 71 different teams to work on biomedical engineering design projects focused on global health issues. Throughout the program, they followed the engineering design process to develop virtual prototypes of solutions. They were able to also engage with BME faculty to obtain feedback on their projects throughout the summer. Some examples of the projects are included here. Here on the left, we have a device. Uh, students had to de design a device to test and monitor diabetes in premature babies in low to middle income countries. Here on the top right, we have a project we focused on creating a, a way to filter lead from water in low research communities. And on the lower right here, we have a project uh, that was focused on developing a phototherapy lamp to treat infant jaundice in developing countries. And we had several more projects students could choose. These projects culminated in a four minute video pitch contest where students described their solutions. The video competition lasted about five days in which 70 videos were uploaded. In the first five days, we had over 72,000 views and 22,000 likes. In terms of the results, we had approximately 250 students successfully complete the program. Most students joined the program uh, through the live sessions or uh, using a combination of the live sessions and watching the recordings. Very few students participated in the program only by watching the recordings. 
of the students that completed the end of program survey, 98% rated the program and its educational value as good, very good, or exceptional. Students gained biomedical engineering design process skills, communication skills, and teamwork. Additionally, based on our demographics, we um, know that the program increased access for minority, minoritized students. Some additional feedback we received through our end of program survey included the following quotes. One student mentioned, and I quote, I really loved the, that the program was open to students from around the country and around the world. I don't think there are many opportunities for 100 plus students from various countries and universities, all studying biomedical engineering to come together. Honestly, that was amazing. Another student wrote, the coffee and conversation seminars made talking to professionals very casual and less intimidating. As a result, it allowed me to build my confidence in networking with my professors. Another, another student wrote, I enjoyed the no pressure atmosphere of the program and the freedom we had in our design process. These factors facilitated an avenue to try new things and learn what, what works and doesn't, which I find instrumental to my goals as I pursue a career in BME. So in summary, we believe that the program was successful. Um, it increased access to students from minoritized populations. It provided an opportunity for students to participate in a biomedical engineering focused program over the summer. It provided networking opportunities for students. And we would highly recommend that programs like these continue even after the pandemic, as they gain, again, they increase access to, to all students, but especially those from minoritized populations. It have also been able to present these results at the um, American Society for Engineering Education Northeast Regional Conference, which took place here at WPI. With that, we would like to acknowledge the following offices and people, especially the Morgan Teaching and Learning Center who provided us with the grant, the Biomedical Engineering Department, the SPODS program, specifically Professor Jessica Rosewitz, and the Career Development Center. We would also like to acknowledge the biomedical engineering faculty and students who engaged with the students throughout the summer. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>